Hey now kids and welcome to the playthrough for the month of June here on Crix TV. Hope you guys are feeling numb. Big shout out to all our patrons that made this playthrough possible and especially to our super amazing producer Alice for her continued support. If you enjoyed this type of content and you want to see more full length playthroughs, please consider leaving a like on the video, a comment on the video. That really helps the channel. I'm being told by YouTube that because of lack of likes and comments, videos aren't going out as much and things like that. So it really is appreciated if you could like. A share is amazing too, but only if you feel it's justified. This is the Coma 2. I did play the first three chapters of this in Alpha last November, but this is the full game and it's been voted for for a full playthrough. I think there's eight chapters in all. And we're going to do this probably over eight videos. I'm going to try a different approach to this, to what I've been doing with the big uploads. So, without further ado, let's begin. Like I said, I did play the first three stages of this a while ago, but it's been a while and I've forgotten pretty much everything other than I know the sort of gameplay is the sort of stalker type gameplay that you guys really seem to like on this channel. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy. I do apologize if there's a little bit of a fan noise in the background too. Air conditioning, it's so hot. <laughs> Big shout out to our Patreon supporter, Paul, for making this possible. Paul has a novel that you guys can read. Uh, there's a link in the description if you would like to go and have a look at that. It's a fantasy novel and it looks super fucking numb. So show some love to Paul because he's shown some love to this channel and allows it to keep going. See you soon, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. What a drag. Glad that's over. Huh. A message from Da Hyun. Red alert. Meet me in the restroom and you're, when you're done chilling with Mad Dog. It's important. As if I'm spending time in his class willingly. I wonder what's so important. So Mad Dog must be a nickname for a teacher. All right. Okay, basic stuff. All right. Perfect, beautiful. All right, welcome to the world of the coma, I guess. Oh. Sometimes I hide in the class cabinet to catch some shut eye. What, desperate time score for desperate measures? That's a clue on that you can hide? Mm. I find the best way to stay focused is to maintain soul crushing routine. Today's no exception. I won't get home till midnight. That sounds awful. Annyeong? There will be a super blood moon tonight. Fun fact, the last time one was in Korea was on the night of 1954. That's a year. All right. I should meet Dahyun at the restroom before my next class starts. I like the convenient blockage in the hall there. I'm not gonna speak to everyone. We'll just continue for now. Journalist bathrooms are not a thing at Ziwa High. Is that you? Come out, come out! Hey, I'm trying to concentrate here. Oh, sorry about that. Alright, this is our friend. Oh jeez, that was embarrassing. Well, you know what they say, patience is a virtue. I'm over it. So, how was class? Same old. Oh, Chang Ho fell asleep and started snoring during the lecture. Mad Dog got so upset I thought he was going to have a stroke. Well, spill the beans, what's so important? Right. So, I was like, on my way to class, when I bumped into Myung Gil. 
not what I wanted to hear, right? Which reminds me, I've got to stop taking that route. I like keep bumping into those skanks from class 252. Totes annoying. Can you cut to the chase? Some of us have places to be. Okay, don't get your panties in a twist. Anywho, Myung Gil, like, handed me this and asked me to give it to you. You received Myung Gil's letter. So, what's it say? Hey, babe. We're way past the ninth inning, so how about we stop playing Kai and go steady? Circle one, yes or no? Yours truly, Myung Gil. Oh my god. Total cringe. That's like sent a legit shiver down my spine. This looks like it was written by a sixth grader. Surprised? Myung Gil isn't exactly known for his stunning intellect. So, uh, what you gonna do? Since he likes baseball so much, maybe I'll wad this up and pitch it at his head. With any luck, he'll knock it far, far away from me. You know, he's kind of got a point, though. What do you mean? Don't you think it's about time you, like, stop leading him on? I'm not leading Young Gil on. I just don't want to, you know, crush him. You've been complaining about him for the last past year. Stop being so indecisive. Just suck it up and tell him he struck out already. I'll handle it. Indecisive, why don't you tell me what you really think? It's not rocket science, you either like him or you don't. I, for one, am starting to think you like the attention. Ooh, forget it. I'll deal with him myself. Well, whatever you decide, do it quick. I'm getting tired of him hounding me. Anyway, let's talk about it later. I gotta get to Miss Song's class. Oh, darn it. What's up? I haven't eaten yet and I left my purse in class. Do me a fave and grab an Ahana bar in the cafeteria. I'll owe you. I'll meet you there in a bit. Okay, just hurry. Do you have enough money for a snack? Check your inventory. <gasps> Mina keeps her inventory in her backpack. It has four slots for items at the moment, so choose wisely. Quest items are stored in a different power to the backpack. They cannot be removed or used like regular items. It's convenient. So we have a bottle of water. Recovers stamina. And everything else is, you know, as it stands. All right, let's go and buy her a delicious bar of some kind. I believe this is the cafeteria, from what I recall. You can use coins to buy items from vending machines. Make sure Mina has an empty slot in her inventory. What did they want? None of these, I don't think. Let's try this one. A Hana bar, yes. I think that worked. Yes, I have a Hana bar. Okay. All right, so what am I meant to be doing now? Let's look at our map as well. Mina's icon denotes your current location. Discovered utilities we marked on the map. Okay. So there's definitely something still in the cafeteria here that is of note to us. These still look very happy. Some students have started carrying mace. It's a perfect deterrent against flashes. What? The best part of waking up is distresso coffee in your cup. I'd be sleeping through every class without it. Yeah. Our district's new vending machines have a little something for everyone. A Hana bar's my favourite. I read they sourced their cocoa beans from Borneo in Hawaii. She looks really unhappy about that. So you know how old man Mars got the nickname Mad Dog? I think it comes from way before our time. I guess old habits die hard. Haha. Ha. Hilarious. Oh. Think fast, me young girls. Coming this way. I've read that so wrong. What? I can't talk to him now. Stole for me. Are you kidding me? Oi. Yo, brash girl. What the hell, young girl? Don't call me that. Hey, where the monk face? I'm just joshing you. One of those senior girls from 25 told me that was your nickname. Haha. <laughs> well, you shouldn't listen to them. What are you doing here anyway? Not much. Heading down to the diamond to get some swings in. So, uh, you see Mina around? Uh, Mina? Nope, haven't uh, seen her lately. But you gave her the note, right? What did she say? Looked like she was in a rush, so I don't think she had a chance to read it. Oh. Well, tell her. What the? I don't think we're too... Yeah. You know. Yo! You deaf Sahosa, get your punk ass over here. Uh... Mina? Mina? What are you looking at? I don't have all day, bread shuttle. What the fuck does that mean? 
Uh, hey, young girl. You got my priest of bread. You know I can't play Bullworth and Dam on an empty stomach. Alright, I've had enough of this. Mina, get out here. Well, this is an awkward. Look at his face. What the fuck was those eyes? What the hell, Mina? That was just, like, seriously uncool. Why did you call me out? He was totally buying your story. You're the one who, like, put me on the spot. Oh my god. Did you see his face when we bum rushed past him like idiots? And did you hear what he called me? Uh, no offense, but you can do this all the t but you do this all the time. You're super flaky. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? It means you need to like grow a spine. This isn't the first time you've left me high and dry. Whatever. Time to blow this popsicle stand. Deal with your own issues from now on. <laughs> Guess we've lost a friend. <sighs> Such a drama queen. What's her deal? I'm late. I should get to Miss Song's class now. All right, where is that? Up the floor, and then we're there. Pretty much. Or not. Is it this one? Yes. Miss Song has a rock in Paratits. Hey, Mina, you're late. Is everything okay? I'm fine, but I'm just feeling a little anxious about the last test. Don't fret, I'm handing them out today. In fact, I'd like you to stay after class to talk about it. Say, I've been meaning to ask you how Young Ho's doing. Have you visited him at the hospital? I worry about him. I visit the hospital every other day. The doctors still don't know when he'll wake up. Chin up, dear. If anyone can recover from something like this, it's Young Ho. It's a very unfortunate name in like a Western context. These past few weeks must have been tough on you. I know he'll pull through. Young Ho's always had a strong spirit. I know he'll be okay. I don't know when, but he will. He has to. Listen, if you ever need someone to talk to, I'm here. Got it? You don't have to go through this alone. Yeah, thanks. That means a lot. All right, let's chat about all this later. I have an announcement to make. All right, sit down. Okay, everyone, pipe down. We're switching to English now. How are you all doing today? I'm fine, thank you, and you? I'm doing well today, class. I want to introduce you to the newest member of Soa High. He'll be helping everyone improve English this summer. <laughs> I forgot about this. <laughs> Hello, class. My name is Chance. I'm very excited to meet all of you. I'm sorry I can't stay today, but I'm happy I said hi. We'll talk more tomorrow. See you later, Chance. I'm sure you've all been waiting to see your exams. I'll hand them out at the end of class. We'll be finishing up a little earlier. I want you all to see the Super Blood Moon tonight. It's a rare occurrence, but for now, please open your books to page 84. Use the acceleration key to fast forward cutscenes and blog you've already seen. Okay. Class ends. Hmm. I didn't realize I had to press A. I can't believe I got a B. What the heck is wrong with me? And it was serious enough for Miss Song to keep me after class too. It'd be a relief to get home. Hmm, looks like I'm the last one out. Huh? Isn't that... Seho? What's he doing here? That's the... That's the old storage room. I thought it was locked. I wonder what's in there. Alright, so this is our first stage. Seho High School. I just want I just saw him come in here. Soho? Where did he go? On those long cutscenes, guys, would you prefer if I actually read it, or would you prefer that I do not? Like, uh, on the ones that are narrated in Korean. I can see the super blood moon rising from here. It's been quite a sight to behold. I love a super blood moon. What is this? Someone has assembled an odd makeshift shrine here. There's a picture here, and it's the same girl from Young, Yo Young Ho's amulet. What's this writing? 
Tonight, the fourth and final blood moon in the dark Tetrad rises. When the great gnashing begins, the Umbran gate shall swing open and welcome my vicious sister to walk our world. Only then will she relinquish her claim on my damn soul. I... I don't feel so well. It worked. It really worked. And you brought the amulet. This is just perfect. You normies are so predictable. Huh? Someone's coming. Them again? Damn, damn, damn! Why won't they just leave me alone? I'm really gonna enjoy this. The kid got away again. He's deceptively fast. Drop this, though. Hmm, that's not the relic we're looking for. It's just a worthless lighter. Do you recognize this girl? I've seen her before. She's a Sewa student from Song's class. How'd she get in the coma? That's not our concern. Stay focused. We've got bigger fish to fry tonight. This little bird will be lucky if she even makes it through the witching hour. Where's Young Bay? I haven't seen him since we arrived. He has more pressing priorities. Just catch that twerp before he causes any more trouble. I'll find the moon incense. Everyone else, you know the minister's orders. Remember our realms are only in sync tonight. We're operating in liminal time and can't afford to make mistakes. No use waiting around then. Let's move out. Oh my god, I'm actually really excited to play this. This is a really beautiful game too. What's going on? What time is it? Oh my god. Did I pass out here? I can't see a thing. What's this? You received a strange lighter. It can be used to brighten your surroundings. You can search for items while using it. Be careful, your enemies will see you easier by its glow. Check your location with maps. The Book of Memories locations, lootable areas, and hiding spots are important places to note. All right, an open book sits here. Stay vigilant and do not lose yourself in the coma. Write your name in the Book of Memories and remember who you are. My name? What is my name? Hmm. So this is a save point. All right. Oh my god, guys. I'm actually genuinely excited. This is like a really fucking... I, I'm feeling really nostalgic for like the old days of YouTube. I, I miss them and I miss my Manga Minx channel and the playthroughs I used to do there. And while this won't be quite the same, I hope this is a good throwback playthrough. In case you guys are wondering where Chrism is, her exam got delayed again, so she's still revising and stuff and getting prepped for it. I hope you guys understand. She'll be back as soon as we can. Oh, lovely. Huh? Oh, God. The bodies look like they're made of wax. Their unnatural poses make an eerie sight. This place isn't right. I've got to snap out of it. This has to be some kind of bad dream. Don't, don't think it is. I don't think it... I don't think it is. Falling bodies may drop from the ceiling. If you're stuck by them, your health will drop by one. If you're stuck by clawing hands, you'll begin bleeding. This will temporarily decrease your max health. You will lose one health from bleeding if you don't use a bandage. Evasion uses a lot of stamina. However, it may mean the difference between life and death. Those things grab you, from what I recall. Which is... Pretty shit. Alright, so I've still got the chocolate bar. I'm gonna go and buy a bandage, though, I think. The cafeteria is on this floor, if I can get there. So let's go. Or maybe I should start exploring first. Oh. Things are locked up at the moment, so I guess... Not. So, I believe we come back to the school later on. I did a little bit of research about where... The game goes. I think I can go past this. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. Lovely. Bodies crammed in the lockers. Hiding may save your life. Use your surroundings to conceal yourself. Different hiding spots provide varying levels of concealment. Choose wisely. Quick, complete the quick time command to hold your breath. Failing will reveal your location. It's more difficult to conceal how you your breathing stamina is low. Blah, 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 blah. I get the idea. A wall of eldritch tentacles have taken root and are growing through this hall. Lovely. Well, we're not going this way. I don't know if the Pashira is around, out and about at the moment. I don't think they are. I think they need a cutscene reveal first, you know what I mean? I don't know if they sell bandages in the cafeteria, but I'm definitely going to go and have a look as, a, as my number one priority at the moment. Because if I bleed, and I die, 
That's just a pretty shite situation. Hello? Okay, that's a hiding spot. Perfect. Also a great place to go if I have a master case of the shits as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw you. Alright, let's have a look, shall we? Bandage. We can only carry. I I'll keep the extra slot for something else for now. That girl. Hey, are you okay? She doesn't look right. Maybe I shouldn't get too close. Glowing shadows will slash at your legs. If you're struck by them, you'll begin bleeding. They may be difficult to detect. Keep an eye out for them. you got to do that to get past those. These containers are marked with an odd emblem. These supplies come courtesy of the minister. Take what you need to finish the job. Ghost vigilantes. Young Bay. Looks like they've been opened. I wonder if there's anything useful left. God damn it. I just spent money on the fucking bandage. And I now I have one. I've got some more money too, though. What? Is this an infinite amount of money? I guess it is. Maybe to stop you, like, dying? What's this? Okay. Hang on, where did that go? What? None of that got picked up, right? I'm really confused. I guess I'm eating those on the spot. Is that what's happening? Anyway, we've got a note here. You received a torn page. Torn pages you collect will appear in notes. The pages may provide revealing lore. Oh wait, I didn't get the bandage either. This gate's locked too. Come on. Maybe the staff left some keys behind the bar. I'd better check. But first... So how do I look at documents again? I wasn't paying attention. There we go. It was the autumn of 1938 when I was born to a family of humble means. For seven years, we lived in our small family house in Guangzhou. My father worked as a farmer harvesting rice and barley. Mother worked at the cotton mills. My older brother Suho and I tended to the chores our parents couldn't see to. In those years, everyone carried their weight. But that's what was expected. And we did so with great diligence. Those were difficult years, but we were happy because we had the great comfort for each other's company and laughter. Did you guys hear that? That was kind of weird. Hmm. Well, I guess this is the key. A hastily written memo to the cafeteria staff is here. You receive cafeteria memo and staff key card. It seems like a food service worker was doing overtime. They told us to pick up an underground parking lot key card in the security office. Maybe I can finally get out of this creepy place. All right. So what does that mean? Where is the security office? All right, on the ground floor. And I can't go through here. Okay. Yeah, we can't go that way at the moment. All right. Oh, I forgot about her. Nearly got killed. All right, let's look around up here first. Try and do our best to clear out as much of the fourth floor as possible, I suppose. Okay. Hello. I'll do my best to try and find all the notes, but I obviously can't guarantee that I will. I'll do my best though, guys, because I want to try and flesh out as much of the lore as possible. Well, that, that was bum. No obvious notes, just a load of our hiding spaces. Just look out for things on the roof and bodies on the floor. I don't like those bodies. I don't trust them. I mean, I don't think anyone trusts them, really. Let's be real. This is really fucked. Look at the corpses and shit. I don't, are they meant to be corpses? I can't remember, but they're fucked anyway. Hmm. 
I don't like this. That door is jammed shut. Alright, it's a play thing here. Okay, we got some money. Do, do we, are we actually getting the money? Okay, that counted. I guess the ones that were for tutorial purposes didn't count, but those ones did, which seems a bit strange, but uh, whatever, that's fine. Can I get in here? No. Dead end, maybe? Okay, it's a dead end. All right, so now we need to get down to the, I think, the bottom floor. The security office is on the bottom floor. We haven't checked out the second floor yet. But we'll... We'll have a look. This is the second floor. But we have yet to go. Alright, so we need a staff key card to get in there. Well, it's the headmaster's office. I thought I had a staff key card, but maybe not. I'm guessing it would use it automatically if I had it, because it seems to have done that so far, so... I guess it isn't for that. Hello? Alright, more money is good. And a dead end. Alright, so we need to go down the middle staircase to the third floor if you want to check out the rest of that. Huh. Cool. I don't like this. I feel constantly on my toes. We've yet to come across the bitch, but she will undoubtedly show up at some point and start killing us. Does that heartbeat mean we're fucked? I don't know. We're definitely going to be coming back here later on in the story. Got a note here. Alright. Torn page. Let's have a read. Oh, we missed out two somewhere. The months after our arrival in Seoul were turbulent. To my father's dismay, it was a dangerous time of political upheaval. My family settled in an undeveloped city district called Songrung. It was most notable for two things then. The distinct pressure of Catholic mission presence of Catholic missionaries and the preeminence of the CY Institute owned by a mysterious American family. Our community knew the organization well for its various outreach efforts. Despite the benefits their development projects did for our districts, a suspicious fog of secrecy shouted the CY Institute. Okay. We need to find that second part. Did I try this door? Yeah. I don't think I can open anything on this floor, to be honest with you, but... Hi there. How's it going? Oh, I saw you. Oh, okay, we're going in here then. Hello? Oh, there's a note. Please be the second one. Hey, it is. August 15th, 1945 was the day of my seventh birthday. The nation celebrated its independence for the first time after 35 years. My father believed it to be a good omen that my daughter, his daughter's birthday should fall on such a day. My mother scolded him for being too superstitious. At the end of that month, he suddenly announced he was selling our land and moving to Seoul to seek better opportunities and be closer to his brother. As a young girl, I still remember our journey to the big city, feeling like ages. To while away the hours, my brother taught me how to play his recorder. He would continue to tutor long after. Those sessions are now precious memories. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so now... Now... We've only got... The ground floor left. Unless there's no okay. So security office is literally just down here. Biology lab is okay. Okay, so that looks like somewhere we can definitely go eventually, but not right. Now. Oh god. Oh god, that made me jump. That made me. That was a. That was almost a poop moment. Before we go in there, anything else here? Money. More money. And a torn page. Let's have a look, shall we? The Sewa Institute bolstered its presence in Songrung between 1945 and 1949. They inaugurated Sewa Hospital and expanded the Sewa Academy, which has been open since 1932. Westerners largely staffed both facilities. Suho attended the academy and became fluent in English. He had a natural command of it, and his intelligence was a source of great pride for my parents. He even taught me how to read and write the language. 
My admiration for him grew with each passing day. I wanted to be just like him. I still practice using the recorder he'd given me so many years ago. It was my personal way of following in his footsteps. Okay. Can't go any further. Let's go in here. Alright, this does not look numb. Oh, hi there. How's it going? It's a real body and real blood. What happened to him? I need to call the police. My phone refuses to work at a time like this. Okay, calm down and just focus on getting out of here. What's this? Looks like a looks like mace. He must have tried to use it. Doesn't look like it helped though. What could have done this to him? It might come in handy. Mace is a disposable item used to escape an assailant's grasp. A quick command will appear when you're captured. Complete the command to use the spray. Okay, so we, we escape items are also separate to your main items, which is good because we definitely, definitely, definitely need that. Okay. Hiding spots. I know there's a thing on the guy, but before I grab it, I'd like to, uh, you know. A wallet. His name was Hyung Bae. I don't recognize him though. That name rings a bell. We've seen that on like another note, right? I'm pretty sure that we found knocking around somewhere. Well, Hyung Bae is Hyung dead. The parking lot is downstairs. Let's get out of here. All right. So, what we do is go all the way. Oh no, it's just like straight down that middle staircase there. We haven't been to the right side here, the school lobby and technology and home economics lab, but I'm inclined to leave it for now. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't feel like it's it's gonna be too useful. You know what I mean? But I hope so. I hope I hope we don't miss too much here. Okay. I'm scared. The pursuer hasn't shown up yet. This is definitely different to what it used to be like, by the way. It's no good. The key card won't work unless the door has power. They've definitely changed this a bit. I'm pretty sure there were chases before this in the original. There must be some kind of backup generator around here. Alone. Underground. This is not how I imagined spending my night. Oh, we got a book of memory, so that's good. I see you. I see you vibrating there. Alright, there's a door there. I just don't want to miss anything, you know. There's the generator, and there's another page. You received a torn page. Let's have a little read, shall we? Nothing could have prepared us for the horror to come in the summer of 1950. Our entire district fell into turmoil when word arrived that North Korean forces had crossed the 38th parallel. My family listened to a radio announcement from President Ri, who urged citizens to stay in Seoul and trust the government in spite of the impending danger. My family knew what was coming, so we quickly packed what we could carry and fled the burning city on foot. I'm sorry about the Papia Bufin, guys. We made it across the Hambridge moments before our own forces destroyed it. It was the most difficult journey in our lives. Though much suffering and heartache, we finally found our way to Busan, the last city standing. It was there that Suho, then a 16-year-old boy, announced he would join other students as volunteer soldiers. I protested in anger to no avail. I can definitely see where this is going. All right, before we do this generator, which will undoubtedly cause something terrible to happen, let's just check down. Oh, okay. Almost got me. There's no point taking that in the moment because I've got a full inventory. All that because I've got a full inventory. Can I take multiple maces? I can only carry one spray at a time. That's a shame. Well, I'm going to pop out here quickly. Save the game here. And then we're going to flick the switch. It's going to suck. Let's go. You ready? I'm ready. Looks like the generator. I might be able to restart the power here. I forgot about the quicktime events. This game has quite a lot of them. Alright, nothing too bad. Sounds like it worked. Did someone just come in? Hello? Who's there? 
please come out? Song 선생님? Oh, 살았다. 저 혼자 학교에 남겨진 줄 알았어요. Miss Song, thank God. I thought I was the only one here. 귀염둥아, 뭐 재미있는 걸 찾았나 보지? What did you find, my pets? Another trespasser skulking about our sweet home. Oh wow. Still got a nice pair of tits though. Oh, that's not Miss Song, I don't think. I think that's the, the, the person who's saying this. What is this? How about we give her a proper welcome to our lovely school? Miss Song! Still nice boobs. Still nice boobs. Oh yeah. Very happy about that. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm sure I said that last time. We gotta run. We gotta run. We gotta run. We gotta run. Okay. Oh shit. Pretty quick time event here. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. Okay. Yep. Yeah, definitely quick time events. I think she passed. I've gotta run to the underground parking lot now. Go, 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 go. Ah! Run, 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 run. Just go. Just sprint. Just sprint. Just hoop. Just coming after us. Please stop. That's pretty close after all there. I've got to get away from this psycho. Huh? Get on! Get on now! I don't know whether I should be narrating that or not. Oh, she can't keep up as we get away on the bike here. Perfect. I love these hand-drawn sections. Wait, who are you? Get inside and find somewhere safe. I'm going to lead her away. Who is that? Mysterious stranger saving us as we basically arrive in the second level, which is Songong Police Office. I'm sure the police will be able to help us, so it's gonna to be totally fine. Hmm. Was that Miss Song? Something's terribly wrong. I don't think tonight could get any stranger. He dropped me off near the police office. I'd better file a report. Mom and Dad must be so worried right now. I'm sure they feel relieved to hear from me. All right, we're gonna save, and that is going to be the end of the first video here of the Cloma 2. I really hope you enjoyed, and I hope you like me doing this approach of splitting it up over shorter episodes with each chapter. If you do enjoy what you hear or see, those things that you do when you watch YouTube, I know it's crazy. Please consider leaving those likes and comments. I'll do my best to reply to all the comments, and I'd, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you really like the content, you want us to be able to keep doing this, and you can spare some cash, consider pledging to our Patreon. There's so much cool stuff there, so much exclusive content, exclusive playthroughs, private streams, amazing, amazing uh, opportunities to chat with me and get cool stuff. So have a look and consider pledging if you enjoy. Big shout out once again to Virgil, our Patreon supporter, and Alice, our Patreon producer. You guys are super duper nomkins. Anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic, wonderful day, and I'll see you in part two, hopefully very, very soon. See you soon, nomkins. Have a great day.